Hello everyone, I'm following up on the previous video on using your cell phone to explore the night sky. When we go outside and look up at the night sky, we see what seems to be countless stars. If the Milky Way is up, it's even more spectacular. Now, I'm a nature geek and of course the universe as shown in the night sky is very much part of the nature that I love discovering. And the brighter stars in the sky form patterns. And ancient people made up names for these arbitrary patterns. We call them constellations. In the southern hemisphere, where I live, one of the most obvious patterns formed by the stars is the Southern Cross, the constellation Crux. It's located in the southern celestial hemisphere near the tail end of the Milky Way's visible band. Now, the Southern Cross never sits at latitudes south of 34 degrees south, so it's easily visible from much of the southern hemisphere for much of the year and for south of uh, 34 degrees uh, pretty much all year round but it's generally not visible from the northern hemisphere unless you're close to the equator. Um, the Southern Cross has a rich history of use in navigation and is a powerful symbol in the cultures of Australia and New Zealand and Brazil, among others. This constellation is easy to spot from South Africa. It even has two bright stars that point the way, the pointers, as seen here by my phone a few nights ago. If you have one of the apps on your phone that we talked about previously, then you should be able to find it quite easily. But even without the app, it should be easy to spot. It's overhead sort of generally in the rough approximate direction of south. Crux is easy to find by drawing a line between the pointer stars. They lead us to a nearby group of bright stars that can be connected up to form a cross. Uh, these stars are interesting in their own right. Um, I mean, the uh, pointer stars. Uh, let me know if you want to hear more about them. There are five stars that are clear features of the Southern Cross, though only four make up the cross itself. Uh, these stars are called Alpha Crucis, Beta Crucis, Delta Crucis, and Gamma Crucis, with the one that is not part of the cross being Epsilon Crucis. In the next video, we're going to talk about each of these stars in turn. So hopefully we'll come back and see the next video and learn more about each of the stars that make up the Southern Cross.